Okay, we're going to look at drawing ray diagrams with a converging mirror. So we're going to be using physicsclassroom.com and they have some interactives. So we go to full screen. So here we've got our converging mirror. We're going to switch it over to the arrow, which is our standard for the object. So we want to take a look at moving this object back and forth. And what I want you to notice is it doesn't matter where I move my object. Ray number one will always be parallel to the principal axis. Then it goes through the focal point. Does not change. Click on ray two. We watch ray two. Goes through the focal point until it hits the mirror. And once it hits the mirror, it comes out parallel. And it doesn't matter where I'm moving it. When I get to the focal point or inside the focal point, it's a little bit different, but anything up to that point will show the ray going through the focal point, then out parallel. So if we start with our object way behind 2F, we start with ray 1 parallel to the principal axis through the focal point. Click on ray 2. Ray 2 goes through the focal point till it hits the mirror, then it comes out parallel. This little arrow right here is our image. So salt, which means compare the image to the object. It is smaller. It is inverted or upside down. It is located between F and 2F. And because it's in front of the mirror, and the job of the mirror is to reflect light, this would be a real image. So smaller, inverted, between F, 2F, and real. Let's move our object to be on 2F. Ray number one, parallel to principal axis through the focal point. Ray number two, through the focal point, out parallel. Put the two of them together. We can see that our image is same size. It is inverted. It is right on 2F or right below 2F. And again, it's a real image. Let's move the object up so that it's in between 2F and F. Ray number one, as always, parallel to the principal axis through the focal point. Ray number two through the focal point comes out parallel. If we look at the crisscross of the two, we have our image forming back here. So if we were to salt it, the image is larger. It's still inverted. It's located behind 2F, and this is a real image. Now, this is a little bit tricky to do, but if we were to put the object right on F, I don't really like how it says the image is over here. Okay, so we're going to ignore that one. Ray number one is always parallel to the principal axis, then through the focal point. I can't show you ray two because ray two says go through the focal point, which we're sitting on, and then it hits the mirror. So in this case, we're going to use ray three. Now, ray three might look a little bit complicated, but essentially we've got this. Ray coming in, hitting the mirror, reflecting back out. This angle right here and this angle right here are going to be equal because it obeys the law of reflection, which is the incident angle equal to the reflected angle. So if I put these two together, again, ignore this little yellow arrow that's saying image over here. Ray number one and ray number two come out parallel. If they are parallel, that means that there is going to be no image formed. And the last one, if I move my object inside the focal point, ray number one, parallel, then through the focal point. If I go to ray three, we have our ray hitting the mirror and reflecting out. This angle right here is identical to this one. Okay, you can see visually they're the same size. I click on ray one and ray two. And where these two rays, if you're to follow them backwards as a dotted line, they intersect back here which gives us an upright, larger image, and it's located behind the mirror, and because it's behind the mirror, it is a virtual image.